Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have x square minus y equals 12 and x y equals 16. So we find the value of x and y. So now first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Okay, so here first we focus on equation number 1. So that from equation number 1 we have we move this minus y to the right hand side and we move this 12 to the left hand side it is written as x square minus 12 equals to y and we call this is our equation number 3 so now we substitute this value of y in equation number 2 so that here our equation number 2 is implies that this is x y here we have the value of y is x square minus 12 is equals to 16 okay so here we need to multiply this x on both of these terms and it is written as x cubed minus 12 x equals to 16 and now we write this equation into the standard form so that we move the 16 in the left hand side and it is written as x cubed minus 12 x minus 16 equals to 0 and now you see this equation so this is uh, this equation will becomes here uh, a cubic equation in x variable so now we make the factors of this cubic equation uh, so here uh, we easily make the factors of this equation by uh, break its middle term so that we uh, have the middle term is minus 12 x and we write it as x cubed minus 12 x so we write this 12 as minus 4 x minus 8 x okay we know that minus 4 minus 8 becomes minus 12 and this is minus 16 equals 0 and now we focus on first two terms and here we have the common value is x so the remaining terms are x square minus 4 here we take common minus 8 and the remaining terms are x plus 2 equals to 0 and in the next step here first we rewrite this equation as in this form so this is x square minus 4 we write 4 as 2 square minus 8 into x plus 2 equals 0 okay so here we need a, a nice square identity and you know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b okay here we use this nice square identity to solve the above equation so that our above equation is written as after applying this formula so first we have x and here we use this formula on this term so this is written as x minus 2 into x plus 2 and the remaining terms are minus 8 into x plus 2 equals 0 okay so now you focus on both of these terms and we have x plus 2 be the common factor so that we take it common x plus 2 and the remaining terms are x into x minus 2 and here we take common x plus 2 you get here minus 8 equals 0 and now we need uh, some simplifications here and we write it as x plus 2 into we multiply this x on both of these terms it is written as x square minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 okay so here we divide this equation into the two cases so that first case is we take x plus 2 equals 0 and the second case is we take x square minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 so that from first case we easily get the value of x equals minus 2 and now here into in order to find the other values of x we need to solve this uh, square this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation its coefficients are a equals 1 b equals minus 2 c equals minus 8 quadratic formula is written as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a okay this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula 
so that uh, when you we substitute the values here then you get 2 plus minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 8 divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1 so here we need more simplification and we write it as x equals 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 32 okay 4 times of 8 becomes 32 and it is divided by 2 and in the next step we have x equals to 2 plus minus 36 square root divided by 2 so we have x equals 2 plus minus 6 divided by 2 we know that uh, square root of 36 becomes 6 so here we have two cases the first case is we take uh, uh, x equals 2 plus 6 over 2 and here we take x equals 2 minus 6 over 2 so that we have x is equals to 8 over 2 so it is a 4 and in this case x equals minus 4 over 2 so we have x equals minus 2 okay so finally we have uh, the two values uh, are x and in, in the first case we again get the value of x equals to minus 2 and now uh, we have the values of 2 minus 2 is the repeated value so we uh, count it one value and now we find the value of y corresponding to these values of x okay so here we need equation number three so our equation number three implies that y equals x square minus 12 and now we substitute the above two values of x in this equation and we easily get the corresponding value of y okay when you substitute x equals to 4 here then you get y equals 4 square minus 12 and you have 16 minus 12 so 16 minus 12 is equals to 4 so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is equals to 4 and now similarly we uh, we substitute this value of x equals to minus 2 here and we get y equals minus 2 square minus 12 and we have y equal minus 2 square becomes plus 4 minus 12 and we easily get the value of y is equals to minus 8 because 4 minus 12 is minus 8 so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x equals minus 2 okay so finally we have the two solutions of the given equation and these solutions are x1 y1 equals to 4 and 4 and x2 y2 equals to minus 2 and minus 8 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos